Hello, welcome to It Left and Right. I am Lorcan Nightingale. <laughs> I am Phantom Corgi. But... <laughs> uh, and today we're back at it again with Dream Daddy. Dream Daddy. Um, we love Matt. Yes. That's but I also love Matt. Some books. You know what's um, funny is I love Maxwell in this game, and there's actually a dog that I've watched before named Maxwell, and I love him just. I feel like there's just so many things that hit home for us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so real. What is six dollars? What is seven seventy five? Matt, goddamn. It, you know, it's like at um, at hippies when they have yeah, like the like, the, the breakfast like sandwich. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's a really good sandwich. Okay, anyway, take yeah. care. Take care. Okay, now that we're fully caffeine, full of caffeine, where do we, where to? Um, we should unpack. Okay. Uh, sorry, we just ate, so I'm sorry if I like burp mid sentence. I've got a lot on my plate right now. Did you know that moving is one of the biggest sources of stress for adults? Excuse me. Is it right behind? <laughs> Pardon. Is it right behind? That both of us just ate, so we're gonna be got kind of gassy. <laughs> is it right behind the constant fear that you smell bad and everyone's too polite to tell you? I don't know. It was an alarm for uh -huh. one twenty-five. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, probably. Uh, mm, do I smell bad? And then it gives me a whiff. You're fine, pops. Let's go home. That was me yesterday because I was like, and showered in a few Gas days. Is cheaper in the suburbs. Um, no, it's not. <laughs> Oh yeah, yesterday I was I was just kind of sitting at the computer and I haven't really showered in days and then I kind of just sat there and just got a whiff of myself. I mean, it wasn't bad, but I think it was mainly my hair. Mm. You know, sometimes it permeates smell around it if you haven't washed it in a while. So I just kind of got whiffs of food when food was done cooking, so I was like, I, I need to go take a shower. Yeah, I, I washed my hair recently because I got it cut and dyed, mm -hmm. but I haven't like showered in like three or four days. Mm -hmm. I get to work on packing the various boxes around the living room. A couple, oh, that's my shirt. A couple hours passed, and I got some good work done. The washer and dryer unit is both washing and drying, and we can actually walk through the living room without tripping over boxes. First visitor already. I walk over to the door and open it. Uh, hello. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> A handsome, clean-cut man stands at my door, brandishing a plate of cookies. Do you want to play him? Okay. Uh, uh, hello? <laughs> oh, where are my manners? My name is Joseph. I'm your next-door neighbor. Oh, uh, hi! Uh, yes! Hi, I'm Augustus. That's that's what my name is. I saw the moving van, and I thought I'd bring over some cookies. My daughter Christy wanted me to let you know she baked them herself. Joseph leans in and whispers. Hmm. But between you and me, she just sprinkled in the chocolate chips. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Aaron. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe this, this is. I was I was trying to figure yeah. it out. Whoa, cookies, huh? So nice to meet you. Joseph hands her the plate of cookies with a smile. Oh, yeah. sorry. I thought you were making noise. Well, thanks for the cookies. Oh, cracker. Oh, crap. That is Aaron. It, it, it. <laughs> Amanda disappears with the cookies. Amanda, come back! And she's gone. That's my daughter. Her name is Amanda. She's a charmer. Daughters are tough. Sons are also tough. Oh, thank thankfully oh. I missed that train. Children in general are just... tough. <laughs> well, uh, I hear that. I mean, there'd have to be something wrong with you to try and raise more than two. I have four kids. Uh, oh. I want to kill myself. <laughs> oh, if you can look right here, he's got a wedding ring on. Homebreaker, more like. <laughs> what have you done? Oh, oh. um, I, I meant... Oh, don't worry, you you didn't mean to be rude. Oh no, this is the first neighbor... Oh, oh no, this is the first neighbor I've met and my social life is already in a tailspin. I wonder if it's too late to move again. Uh, uh yeah, okay... Ooh. Is this Mrs. Rao? I am the Mrs. Mr. <laughs> actually, and er, no, not anymore. He died. Oh. Uh, uh, I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, no, 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 it's all right. Wow, this is uncomfortable. We stand there quietly for a moment, acutely aware of how awkward we both made things. Oh. I'm sorry, can you close the door real quick? It, 
I look at Joseph quizzically, but comply. After a second, I hear a knock on the door. Opening it, I see Joseph standing there with a huge smile. Oh. Hey, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise not to talk about your dead spouse <laughs> this time. I'm throwing a barbecue for the cul-de-sac, and I'd love for you to come by and meet the rest of the neighbors in our community. What do you say, pal? <laughs> that sounds great. My daughter Amanda and I would love to stop by. Also, four kids is a perfectly normal amount of children to have. We shake hands to steal the deal. <laughs> well, neighbor, I'll see you at 3 p.m. sharp on Saturday. Sharp. I'm always dull. <laughs> Fuck off. Sure thing, neighbor. <laughs> Jessica starts walking away, but stops to think for a second and turns around. Yeah. Hey, in all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can't, can't be easy if you ever need to talk about stuff. I'm the, I'm the youth minister at our church down the street. I don't see I how thought, I thought he, he was can gonna be say the um the center of the game. Uh, when you do like look at the picture, yeah. When he is the complete opposite. Mm. I don't know. We have no. no. Oh, I, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider myself a youth. <laughs> You look pretty young to me, oh, but suit yourself. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Thank you. And with that, Joseph's gone. I kind of like Joseph. Yeah, he's really I nice. like that he went out and he's like, I promise not to talk about your dead spouse this time. He seemed nice. Amanda walks back into the living room, crumbs on her face, and cookie in hand. And uh, that was the smoothest recover I've ever seen. I should be taking notes. See, you're already fitting in great. Where'd those cookies go? <sighs> They're gone, sorry. Yeah. It makes you feel any better. They weren't very good. So you ate all of them anyway. <laughs> I guess that makes it break time. Any ideas? Joseph probably wants his plate back. I think we get a ton of good neighbor points if we bring yeah. this back. We're gonna be the best neighbors in this whole cul-de-sac. We're gonna kick all the other neighbors' butts with kindness. Man and I step outside. Mm -hmm. Shoot, I'm actually not sh w sure which house this is. I'd hazard a guess it is the big one with all the well-groomed blonde children sitting in the yard. Good eye, kid. And remember, we need to make a positive first impression here. Keep it light. We walk up to the kids and wave. Oh, God. Creepy. <laughs> hey, guys! Is your dad around? They all just stare at us blankly. <laughs> We just wanted to, uh, return his plate, and thank you for the cookies. Jesus. These are definitely Joseph's kids. Terrell looks exactly like him. Hey. They were... Oh, God, sorry. <laughs> they were really good, you could tell. Oh, sorry. <laughs> hmm. I mean, I heard they were good. I didn't actually get to eat any. I chuckle nervously. <laughs> well, okay, we're just gonna see this set this plate down on the ground real gentle and back ugh, gentle and then back away slowly, right Dad? Right, that's what we're gonna do. The kids' eyes born to us as we scurry away. I can feel their gaze on my back even as we approach our house. Creepy. Ah. I need something to get m my mind off those uh, carbon copy kids. He had test tube babies. <laughs> I uh, I need a nap. You've been awake for what? Three hours? And that's three hours too many. I relate. Don't to forget to floss every day. Excuse me, I burp. As we're walking home, I hear heavy footsteps come up behind us. Augustus! Bro! This might be your good. <gasps> do you wanna do this guy? Um, sure. Okay. I turn around and I'm greeted by a familiar face jogging up to us. Craig? Oh. Bro! Bro! Holy. Wh wow, I haven't seen Craig in forever. Oh. Been too long, dude. Yeah, wow, you look great. <laughs> yeah, I cleaned up my act. Cleaned up his act? Are you kidding me? He's ripped! <laughs> uh, Amanda, this is my friend Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while, too. Amanda, dude, you probably don't remember me, but you're so big now. Hello, and hello, cute baby. Mm. Ah, thank you. The last time I saw you, I think you were about her size. This is River. Say hi, River. You can step our tiny wrist and lose it around. River gurgles happily. Are you babysitting? Oh. Nah, dude, the river's my kid. Man, it has been a long time. Feels like one minute we're rolling up to exams with bad hangovers, and the next we're both fathers. <laughs> Where you been, man? I was working out in California and just relocated the business back to Maple Bay. Maple Bay, a real place? Uh, I don't know. No kidding, a man and I just moved to the side of town. How's Smashley going? Hi. 
I mean, Ashley. Ashley is her name. Oh. She actually still goes by Smashley, and uh, we got divorced last year. Uh, dude, I'm so sorry. Oh. It's old news. We take turns taking care of River and the twins. It's all copacetic. Tw twins? You have three kids? Ain't life something, bro. Right? Cake Stan Craig is a father of three. Cake Stan Craig? Mm. Uh, yeah, it was my old college nickname. He's too cute. He got it because he did a lot of keg stands. Oh. It's that thing where you do a headstand on a keg and then drink from the keg. Right. He was very good at it. Ah, uh, bro, I hate to be that guy, but I'm in the middle of my daily jog and I really got to keep up my heart rate. It brought River along for you know resistance training. Look at that. You jog daily? I jog yearly. <laughs> Same. On January 1st, when I promise myself that I'm gonna jog daily for the rest of the year, but give up after 30 minutes and just walk home. <laughs> mm. Well, it's never too late to get back into it, dude. You should join me sometime. Nice. Come on, it'd be fun. We could have breakfast afterwards, catch up, we could do a bro brunch, like good old days. Alright, sure, sounds neato. Mm. Great, let's get that going. I better get moving. Good to see you guys. Craig is a little wave, puts his earbuds back in and jogs off. I can't believe Craig is ripped and has kids. I, I'm reeling. Hmm. Why is that? The Craig I knew is not fit to be responsible for any living thing, including and especially himself. One time I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara sauce for dinner. Amanda. He opened up a new jar of marinara sauce, and then he drank it like it was a thing that normal people do. It was unholy. And then I asked him what the hell he was doing, and he said, and I quote, It's basically a smoothie, bro. I mean, technically, he's not wrong. He jogs! He was he was jogging. He's like a totally different person. Anyway, we better get home. I'll, I'll have plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later. Oh, damn it. Amanda and I flop down onto the couch. Amanda has to shove some empty boxes out of the way before she hmm. can sit. Too bad we're going to be putting my stuff right back in these boxes in a few months. No, don't say uh, that. Aw, Dad, it's going to be okay. I'll be fine. I know, I know. It's just... You're my little girl. It's going to be weird not having you around. I'll come visit, and I'll text you every day, and I'll take lots of pictures. I mean, obviously, I'm a photography major. You promise? Uh. Of course. Are you going to be okay by your lonesome? <laughs> Oh, come on, I'll be fine. I'll get a dog or something. All right. A dog? All right. Forget art school, just stay for the dog. Is that what it's gonna take? Medium-sized dog, handkerchief around the neck, and I get to name it. That's what it'll cost for me to give up my dreams. I am a woman of simple wants and needs. Yup. That's <laughs> you. Well, a dog's a lot cheaper than college. Not really. Amanda laughs. Yeah. Suddenly, a pile of envelopes slide through the mail slot. Speaking of college, oh. Amanda darts over to the envelopes and shuffles through them. She pulls one out and throws the rest back on the floor. This is from Mc McGowan College of Art and Design. Open it! Hmm. I'm scared. It's just an envelope. Hmm. Yeah, it's just like my entire future. Not a big deal. She takes a deep breath and rips the letter open with her teeth. Have a l <laughs> we have a letter opener, but okay. Hmm. I hold my breath while Amanda's eyes dart back and forth, scanning the letter. Well, what does it say? Uh, the admissions committee has reviewed your application, blah blah blah. Um, we... Uh, her face drops. Regret to inform you that we're unable to offer you admission to... Aww. Uh, uh, I kind of figured this was gonna happen. Amanda throws a letter on the coffee table. Aw, uh, oh, sweetie. Uh, it's okay, I kind of saw it coming. I knew I shouldn't have put that e experimental stuff into my portfolio. Their admissions officer told me they just want to see portraits or whatever. Pull Amanda in for a big hug. Big dad hug. You're an amazing photographer. I know how much work you put into your portfolio. Some of the schools kind of want to snatch you up for sure. Mm. Yeah, I know. It's fine. Are you actually fine, or are you just saying that? Mm. Fine, really. Your face is the opposite, but I probably shouldn't push her oh. on this. Oh, and before I forget, Emma R and Emma P are sleeping over tonight. Uh. So. <laughs> uh, you, you, you need me out of the way because I'm painfully uncool? Look at my hair. I would choose more, a more delicate phrase, but yeah. 
Well, I'll have you know that I conveniently already have plans for tonight, so you'll have the new place to yourself. Huh. Yeah? What are your plans? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Quick, the plans. Um, I'm, secretly, I'm secretly the mayor of the town. Uh, Amanda, the town needs me. I need to perform my mayoral duties. I must don my top hat and wear my monocle so that I may preside over my bear stuff. I think you're looking. <laughs> you're, I think you're thinking of the guy from Monopoly. He was a mayor, right? He was not. <laughs> right. Um, just kidding. I'm actually going to go out and watch the game. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Which game? You know the game. The one that's on tonight. Dad. The game on TV at somewhere other than here. Okay, cool. While you do that, I'm gonna do drugs and commit some light arson with the, the Amanda's. Um, um, Emma's. I'm concerned you're hanging with the wrong crowd. <laughs> and it shrugs. I would have expected you guys to be up to white collar crime by this point. Maybe money laundering at the least. <laughs> I'm a street rat, Pops. You're kidding about drugs and crime, right? <sighs> yes, Dad. Just making sure. I give her a pat oh on the God. head. <laughs> uh, have fun with your sports. Are you being sarcastic? Aww. No, making fun of sports is played out. Yeah. All right then. I do some light cleaning around the house and decide to clear out right before Amanda's friends arrive. Before I leave, Amanda stops huh. me. Hey, don't forget that you have that meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. Uh, oh, right, Mr. Vega. Oh? Yep, totally remembered. I I'll be there. And, okay, if you don't come in first, just make sure you have health insurance. Alright, so we're going to end the episode here, guys. I'm sweaty. Ooh, we met another dad. Uh, thank you all for watching. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know which daddy you like so far. Mm -hmm. Who should we make our daddy? Mm. I like Matt so far. Me too. No, but I haven't met the other uh, dads. I also like Craig. Just the Craig. aesthetic of Craig. Craig. The, the guy we just... Oh, we met two dads. Um, pardon me. I forgot. I totally forgot about Craig. So we met Joseph oh, and Craig. Oh, yeah. Our I college like roommate. He's okay right now. But, um... I like, I like Matt so far. Yeah, Matt's my favorite. Anyways, okay. uh... Yeah. Deuces, bitches.